what's up guys welcome to a new video my name is prince mason today i just want to show you guys a quick light setup for uh photo shoot that i'm doing hopefully i'll be able to do a lot more videos like this and just bring you guys behind the scenes big shout out to our makeup artist leila kadney she's always hiding and always running away from the camera big shout out to sanchan you guys know her the white melanin she's like my <laughs> she's one of my favorites so um yeah, I'm just going to walk you guys through light setup. It's a simple one light setup. I have my Godox Octa box right here and I have a, um, my egg crate in front of it. The whole idea is to just make sure that the light is focused on my subject. I think that's why we use egg crates. <laughs> but yeah, so when um, you have your egg crates on, the light does not just spill. It's focused on your subject. Then I have this makeshift um, reflector hole that uh, I'm using. I'm using... Uh, silver um, silver side of the reflector. I might switch it to the white, it depends, but I just want the look to be really shiny and really dewy, so <clears throat> we'll see how that works. That's Leila, by the way. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's about it. I'm shooting with the Sony a7R 3 and I'm shooting with the Canon 100mm f2. It's kind of like my beat up lens and I use it all the time for my beauty portraits. And also I have my X1 T adapter and I'm shooting with the Godox um, 8600B. That's the light we're using today. I'm planning on shooting some really shallow depth of field studio portraits with this look. Um, so I'm using a, a studio strobe that can actually go down to 1 128 or 1 256 um, just so that I can get really, really low light and get really nice shallow depth. Um, listen. <coughs> So I can get really low light and I can get um, a lot of depth in my images when I'm shooting um, as low as f2.8. I think that's the lowest this lens can go. So let's just take a few portraits and I'll show you guys what it looks like. I don't know if I told you guys my light setting, but I'm shooting at um, 116 right now. Sunshine, really. <laughs> I'm shooting at 116 right now. Uh, my camera setting is f4, 1168, ISO 100. Let's just take a picture and see how that looks. Hopefully this is not too bright. So if you guys can see, I'm always um, bending when I'm shooting these portraits. And the reason is because I want to be, I want my camera to just be um, at the same eye level with my subject or a little bit lower. Um, that way it's almost like I'm looking up at my subject. Sometimes you can just, you know, shoot looking down at your subject, but I prefer to just look um, slightly up at my subject. Chin up a little bit. Okay. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to increase my light a little bit because um, I just need I need a little more punch. And Sanchan is smiling at me. I don't know why. Eyes. No, no, not too much. Let's just like that. Beautiful. You close your eyes. Okay. I love how this looks. Leila, please. What are we going to do about this? This space here. Yeah, this looks a lot better. Look at it compared to this. Okay. Yeah, see, get yourself a nice team. <laughs> I'm serious. When you shoot portraits like this, you want to get yourself um, a nice makeup artist, nice hairstylist, um, nice stylist. Get three in one. The model does not matter. <laughs> get yourself a nice model too. <laughs> Another thing I want to tell you guys is when you shoot, always give yourself enough space to crop um, because most cameras nowadays are really high resolution. So you just want to make sure that you have enough space to crop in post. And yeah, that's like the whole advantage of using a camera that's probably 20 something megapixels, 30, 40, 100. You just have enough space to like crop in post and get your composition right. Composition right. Yes. So 
always do that and that's one thing I do. I always give myself enough space to like crop and post. And I do not always crop and post, but you know, when I'm shooting, I just make sure I have enough space to crop. So yeah, that's about it. Um, we're just gonna keep shooting, keep trying. And if I switch my light setup, I'll show you guys. But for now, you guys can just hang with me. This is going to be a really long video. Uh, okay then, hold on, hold on, that's a shot right there. Okay great, you can change it now. Hmm? Then we can crop, like I said, enough space. Eh? Yeah. Enough space to crop and post. If you shoot beauty portraits, you need to get that background, especially if you shoot medium to dark skin toned people. You need to get that background because it's that, that color is just amazing and it just works almost all the time. But once you get that background, make sure you get my skin tone lots too because it worked perfectly with that background. Why am I laughing? <laughs> I'm, serious, so I'm, serious. I'm serious. You should get that. If you get the background, get, get the skin tone lots. I'm serious. Most of you guys that are watching this will probably not even be listening to me because you're looking at them. But, oh my god. Yeah. Like, <laughs> um, I mean, can you please just step back? Sound children, so I'm just step back, back, back. Sound children. If you guys can see, light is like feathered because i am putting her just at the edge of the light so i am basically lighting my subject which is sanchan right here with the edge of the light that's another thing that i want you guys to um put in mind when you shoot it's always good to feather the light if you don't want the light to be too harsh um, for this portrait um we're actually going with like this really soft light now and I think to bear in mind is the closer the light is to your subject, the softer it's going to be, and the further away the light is, then the harder the light is going to be. Sanjan, yeah, the harder the light is going to be. So put that back in mind. This is not too close, neither is it too far from my subject, so it's just like perfect for me. But if I want the light to be a lot softer, and um, I just want the image overall to be softer. I don't want too many sharp edges. Like I don't want her contours to be like, or if I want her contours to be like really strong, then um, I'll take the light for that. If I don't want everything to be really strong and I just want it to be like really flat, then I'll bring the lights closer. Do you guys understand? Yep. <laughs> So, there's one other tip I want to give you guys from YG. So, if you guys want, I know someone asked me um, a question on um, YouTube one day and said, How do you get your images to look really shiny and the skin? You have to tell your makeup artist that you need the skin to be dewy and your makeup artist is going to fix that. Sanchan, please come back. Thank you. <laughs> you have to tell your makeup artist that you want the skin dewy and your makeup artist is going to fix that for you. And also, you have to make sure you have models that have really good skin. And that works. And when you have that, you just make sure that your lighting is right and you're going to get that. Before you take it to post and you do dodge and burn to make it or to enhance the shine, you have to do all this before that. So that's another tip for you guys. Oh, oh. okay, you bent your head this way a little bit. Yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, you blinked right. Okay, great, beautiful. Just stay there. Let me take that again. Nice. Just trying to make sure that I get the focus to be perfect. Great. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
you guys right now i'm taking like really close-up shots and it's working for me because i am using a macro lens so if you want to take pictures that are really close up nice just look this way a little bit bring your head down okay then look that way nice now face me no no look at me no turn your body towards me yes then okay then just turn your eyes that way a little bit beautiful Okay, then look towards him again. Nice. Chin up a little bit. Beautiful. I know you can't <laughs> wait to see them. I'm just gonna take a few more, like that. Okay, great, I see. <clears throat> what do you guys think? Uh, I'm not like really, really sure about this, but you know, why not? Sanjan, what do you think? I, I, from top or from here? From the bottom a bit. I think from the bottom looks really, really nice. Like this one's look really nice. Different. Mm-hmm. Look really yeah. nice. Um, should we take like portraits? It's all beauty. Come forward a little bit. I think another thing we should do is let's just Let's try and switch up the light. Let's make the background a little bit darker than like this. And how I'm going to do that is... Huh? No, no, not yet. <laughs> so I'm just going to move this light back from the background. You come forward a little bit. <clears throat> right there, just at the edge, right there. Okay, come forward a little bit. Right there at the edge. And I'm just going to bring this light down. Um, the light is definitely going to be softer now than before. And now that I have brought the light down, I would have to reduce the power of my light because my light's closer to my subject. Okay. So it was on 116 before. Let's just take it up to 132 and see how that looks. Uh, yeah, so if you guys can see, it's a little bit darker right now. So I'm just going to bring this so you guys can see. It's a bit darker now, but it looks really nice. I love how it looks. It's just darker and softer. I might just increase my light just a tiny bit. <clears throat> I'm still shooting on F4 because I just want like a really soft portrait. Right now that it's darker, it's just a little bit hard to put in focus or manual focus. Okay. So yeah, that's just one easy trick you can do if you want your background to be darker. Um, another thing I want to do is I want the portrait to be a little bit more dramatic, so I'm going to bring my reflector down. So guys, this is our second light setup. I have switched from the 8600 BM to the 8400 Pro. That's what we're using right now. And our backlight, which is just lighting our backdrop. And I switched my backdrop to a hand-painted canvas. It's just a random canvas. Um, you guys will see the results and you understand why I'm using that. And for our modifier, I'm using this big 
parabolic umbrella. I do not know what size this is, but I think this is the largest. This is probably a seven foot or a six foot parabolic. So yeah, so I'm using this parabolic and behind is just the bare bulb of the 8200, just, you know, hitting our subject. And I also have our uh, reflector here, just bouncing light at our subject's face. So yeah, that's our setup. Uh, my AD400, uh, which is my key light, is at 1 16th. I'll take a picture and I'll let you guys um, see what that looks like. And behind is 1 2, so behind is just, is this stop? It's just like, I think that stop lower than this, or half a stop lower than this. So let's just take a picture and see what this looks like. Oh, for my setup, I am using my A7R3 as usual, my MC11 adapter, and my Canon 7200 um, F2.8 Mark II. So yeah. I'm shooting at F2.8, and right now I'm shooting at 135. So just going to step back a little bit so I can get one picture. If I increase the power to one eighth of my main light, and I think I like how it looks. Just turn a little bit to the side, yes, just like that. Um, beautiful. Now, the reason why I'm shooting at f2.8 is so that my background or my canvas is just blurred out and it just has like a nice, um, it has a nice feel to it. So when I take it to post, what I can do is that I can change the colors, make it look warmer and just, you know, mess around with it. Then the reason why I like shooting with the 7200 is that anything above 100 just makes your subject look um, taller and they're just like a lot more flattering. I'm also, if you guys can see, I am feathering the light. I don't know if I showed you guys, but I'm feathering the light. She's standing just right at the edge of the parabolic umbrella. Still move a little bit. Yes, just right there. Beautiful. You're spreading your hands from your body too much. Your hands are supposed to be close to your body so you can, yes, so it gives your body that shape. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Um, Leila Kadne, Sanchan, the white Thank melanin. You. Thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe. <laughs> you don't we are not bringing them back. <laughs> <laughs> They've stressed my life today.